What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're going to give you an example of some of the ins and outs of the Chrysler YTEC network test. This is the communication test that's built into the YTEC scan tool. So we're going to talk about a couple things that I've been learning about as I use it more. Now this particular vehicle came to us with, we actually came to this shop and they called us out to help them out here with a uh, airbag light that was on all the time and also intermittent communication, or should I say an intermittent window and door lock operation. We have uh, intermittent loss of communication with the driver's door module. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our pre-scan. Let's take a look at what's active and not active. Anytime we're dealing with communication issues, let's take a look at what's going on here. So our ORC is setting a code loss of communication with the left side satellite sensor number four. That is the sensor that is in the left front door. So that they call a pressure satellite pressure sensor in some of the service information. But here, this is just sensor number four in the door. And then we also have this uh, small leak detected storage store. Not worried about any of these codes uh, or the key fob battery low codes. But what I'm more concerned about is look at this. We have lost communication with the door module left from the TIPM and also a lost communication with the radio. And this vehicle does have an aftermarket radio. Here we go with our aftermarket radio. This is not the standard radio in this vehicle. So we're not going to worry about that too much. So you can see that we do have a CAN bus code and other uh, communication codes. And also the DMFL is saying loss of communication with all these other modules. So this module is kind of saying it can't talk to people too, setting a stored history code. Now in this instance, the first thing I did was go to the Chrysler uh, network or no communication test function in the YTEC. I'm going to show you that right now, but we also have to learn about some of its limitations. I'm going to show you that. Let's take a look here. So as I had arrived on site, we did have uh, the DMFL was online, so we do have data out of this module, but if I go over here to the loss of comm test, just so you know if you're back on the home menu, uh, you'll have this hamburger menu down here. You can click on this, and you will open up all these other functions in the YTEC. You have the loss of comm test right here. So if you click on this, and we hit play chime for no response, we'll hit start test. This is exactly what I did when I was on site, and if you scroll down, I want you guys to see we do have our DMFL. So that module is there right now, and we don't have any faults. Now, what I did on site before I took any of this stuff apart is I wiggled the accordion harness in the door here, and of course I made and break this connection. So you will see here, if I take this off, we get the beep noise. I'm gonna take it off again, just leave it off so we can go back and take a look here. So every time that this misses a communication ping, it's gonna go ahead and record that. And this is what I had done. But once I had done this, uh, I couldn't get it to act up anymore. It was actually uh, not working at all. What I'm trying to say here is I lost communication with the DMFL. Uh, it was because I grabbed that accordion harness and pulled on it pretty good. I got the beep on the scan tool. I knew I had a problem. I knew I was onto it. But when I backed out of the communication test and went back into the network topology picture, or I call it network map on the YTEC, you see the module is going to be red here. And if you restart the network test, it does not repopulate. That's what I'm talking about here is a problem and something to be aware about. And take a look here. This is kind of, I'm replicating what happened to me. So my DMFL was offline. And then I went to go ahead and start my test. So I did my loss of comm test again. And I wanted this to basically show me if I had a problem. So I'm going to hit the start button. And what I need to show you here is right now our DMFL is not present. We have DMFR, but we don't have our DMFL left. If I add this module back online by reconnecting this, uh, this is the CAN bus for it, I believe. Retest that, reconnect that. I heard a beep. However, I don't think that module's being listed. This is where I got confused because I did hear a chime but check this out, we don't have a, they have one fault with the ORC, which is interesting. But this is where you can get confused because we had this test started without having communication. You have to have the module communicating before you start to test. So right now that module is offline, but as we rescan the vehicle, this is where the, the money shot is here for y'all. As we rescan the vehicle and this module comes back online, now if we go back into our uh, network test or no communication test over here, loss of comm test. We click on this. Now we go back in here and hit the start button. And now our DMFL is going to be present. You see it's right here. 
our DMFL is present. And if I go ahead and pull this thing off the network again, you will see the beep. So this is really important to understand. Let me go ahead and stop that chime so we don't have to hear that. I think this is super important for you guys to make sure you understand this because if you're over here testing it and you ID the vehicle and the module is not communicating, it is not going to show up on the network test and that will leave you hanging. Even if you do have communication come back, it's not going to show up on this list and you won't know if it's missing communication or not. So that's the tech tip for this Tuesday. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. I did fail to mention the other circuit here is for the uh, satellite sensor. You can see this left front impact sensor over here satellite sensor is right here in the door and that's what that other uh, wire is for there all are also other wires that are compromised so hopefully you can see the crack in the insulation so this is going to be a problem for this vehicle all these harnesses uh, or should i say all these circuits need to be repaired properly